Next question is from Amped Heart. How much do you guys cycle in and out of your healthiest self? How often do you fall off of your workouts or diet plan? How often do you fall off your workout or diet plan, which I just said? <laughs> I typed <laughs> so it I twice. Reiterate it. Yeah. How extreme does the pendulum swing and how long do these periods last? What are your first steps to get yourself back on track? That's yeah, a lot a, right there. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's an interesting um, um, question. So, all right, a couple things. Uh, number one, if you have the mindset of, you know, being good to yourself and taking care of yourself, the pendulum is not going to have a lot of huge swing. Yeah. You're typically going to you're going to have a pendulum swing, but it's not going to be really really big. Here's the other thing you want to consider. You got to consider context. My healthiest self is different if I am in a situation where life is very very stressful versus when life is not very stressful versus when something happens that's terrible or something happens that's great. I mean, you know, I had uh, somebody very close to me pass away years ago. My healthiest self then I could not compare to the context of today where I didn't don't have that happening. Obviously, I'm going to be a lot healthier today than I was back then. But back then, I was doing pretty good when I considered you know what was what was going on. I have a baby that's coming in October. My healthiest self during the you know first few months or year of that situation is probably going to be different than it is before I had uh, an infant or after they turn three or four years old or five years old or whatever. Mm -hmm. So that's something you want to you want to look at as well. Now that being said, if you find that you have this wide pendulum swing. If you find that you you fluctuate between fit, healthy, mobile, feeling good, and 30, 40, 50 pounds overweight and feeling terrible, well, yeah, you definitely need to look um, at you know what's happening and why you're finding yourself in a you know all in or all out uh, mm. type of situation. My uh, you know I believe most of that comes from the fact that you're not the, the root driver for you hating yourself is not coming from the right place i think you're yeah. you're probably getting fit because you're disgusted with how bad the pendulum swing at one point but then you get sick of hating yourself in which case you jump off that point and you say screw it i just want to live my life and enjoy myself in which case the pendulum swings in the other, and it just cycles back and forth I love this question. Um, Justin, you picked this question, yeah? Yeah. Uh -huh. I really like this question because I've actually thought about this a lot um, and more so than, and it's because it's funny, it's exactly what Sal brought up, right? Yeah. He's about to go into having a kid. I know that um, for sure I am not the fittest version of myself. But why I find it an interesting question and why I've thought about it a lot is because there are, there are many different things that uh, to, to measure health. Uh, it's different than my body fat percentage. That's only one marker. Mm -hmm. That's only one marker that 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 falls in there, right? And th and that can be an actual pretty wide range, you know. And for me, I'd say that range is somewhere between nine and fifteen percent. You know, I would consider myself, you know, a body fat percentage, quote unquote, healthy in that range. So that's a that's a, a pretty wide range I can go. But then there's other factors that I would consider myself healthy or unhealthy: my stress, my sleep. Uh, my relationship with my partner, my relationship with my family, my relationships with my business, my my financial health. Like, there's a lot of other markers in my life that that dictate how healthy I am, mm -hmm. and I and it's kind of crazy because it's hard to say. Like, there's parts of me that actually think that I'm the healthiest I've ever been in my life right now, but I'm definitely not the fittest I've ever been. Mm -hmm. But when I think about where I'm at in my relationship, having a like a whole new purpose, like I have a different purpose in my life that's given me a different focus and drive that makes me feel very makes me feel more healthy about my financial, makes me feel more healthy about my future. Like so there's a lot of things that you have to really consider. And unfortunately, we put everything on, you know, in the fitness space, we put everything on the way we look. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like everybody for sure the who's physique. who's known me for five years would say, Adam is definitely not as fit as he was five years ago. But I would tell you that I think I'm healthier. I think I'm a lot healthier. I think I have a, I, I'm not having to weigh and measure food. I've got a very nice, good balance. I've, I haven't put any, I don't, I definitely haven't had long periods of time where I'm not exercising and strength training. And there's a lot of energy and focus that's actually been put into other areas in my life that maybe weren't as healthy when I was training and at the best body fat percentage. So, you know, there's a lot to, to, to consider. And so, for all those things, I'm always kind of looking at any of them that I think they get out of. And just like the body fat percentage, 
there's a there's a uh, there's a nine to fifteen percent range for my uh, relationships. There's a nine to fifteen percent range for my uh, family. There's a nine to fifteen range for my finances. If that does that make sense? Like, like the pendulum swings, but it, like like with body fat percentage, it's between nine exactly. And 15%. Like, mm-hmm. I, 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 let's talk about finances. Like, there's uh, there's parts of me that says, hey, I, I should be. I work really hard. I should be able to enjoy some of that, but then I should also be some responsible. I have other people that I'm taking care of. So I might allow myself to spend a little bit more than usual, but right around 15%, I reel it back in like, okay, this is getting a little out of control. This is irresponsible of me. This isn't very healthy. Mm -hmm. Pull it back a little bit. Same thing goes for if I'm being so goddamn tight with money where I don't spend on anything, I'm being a miser about everything. It's like, listen, part of the reason why I work so hard is so we can enjoy some of the finer things in life. That's me being down at like seven, eight percent body fat, right? So I look at like all of these parts uh, that I consider the the whole spectrum of health and I give myself a 9 to 15% body fat range or a 9 to 15 range in all aspects and just try and keep a, a nice good view of all of it. And, you know, it's not like a big deal when uh, my first steps of getting back. They're not dramatic either. It's not like if I if I'm let's talk about body fat since it's, this is fitness and everyone probably thinks of that first. When I start to see myself get towards that upper end, you know, I, I know it's because I've been allowing things that are probably not the healthiest thing in my diet more frequently. And, you know, instead of going cold turkey everything or going from that extreme to, okay, now I'm weighing and measuring and now I'm training seven days a week, I just I start to move it back a little bit by cutting out some of those things that are less healthy and making better choices, whether that be exercising more or making less bad choices. And I really feel that way about all those aspects of my life. And 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 only you can dictate that. Only you know uh, how you value all those other things that make you, quote unquote, healthy. Yeah, I look at it all as it's just a dance, you know? And it, it's just something that I'm constantly evaluating where my homeostasis is, where I'm currently at, and then how... I can pour myself in a different direction. All those things you mentioned, finance, finance, family, uh, you know, the way that my body looks, the way that my body's performing, uh, the overall stress that I'm allowing myself to uh, accumulate. Uh, am I getting enough sleep? Uh, and so it, it's, it's a matter of like constant self-assessment and uh, seeing where I where my tendencies tend to lie uh, and then how I can address those things uh, one at a time and then see how that affects the, the whole, always how it affects the whole. Because there's always going to be a, a bit of a deficiency in one direction. And now it's like, okay, how do I, how do I get myself to even that back out? And, and so it's just, I'm just weaving in and out two steps forward, two steps back, two steps forward, two steps back. I'm doing the two step constantly. And so that's my dance. Yeah. It, this is why it's so important to have a good relationship with, uh, with exercise and nutrition because both of them can be molded and, sh- and shift and shape uh, to fit the context uh, of your life. I mean, talk about a workout for a second. You know, um, Are there ways I can work out when my performance is at its peak? Yes. Are there ways I can work out and train when I'm injured? Yes. Are there ways I can work out when my performance is down? Yes. Um, I can modify my workouts based on the context of what's going on and how I'm feeling, which always changes. Life is always changing. Nothing ever stays the same. Same thing with nutrition. I'll feed myself uh, according to that as well. And so that's why it's so important to have a good relationship. People talk about balance all the time, right? You need to have balance. What, what, the, what the hell does balance mean? <laughs> yeah. You know, balance, in my opinion, what balance actually means is you're doing things for the right reasons. So if I'm if I'm working for the wrong reasons, let's say I'm working because I'm insecure about not having money, uh, I'm not going to have any balance. That's the wrong reason. Now, what if I work to find uh, a little bit of purpose in my life and in order to support my family so I can have uh, you know better times with my family and provide for my family? Um, then I'm probably going to have better balance with my work. Same thing with your workouts. Same thing with your nutrition. If you're working out and eating because you can't stand the way you look or you don't like yourself, you're not going to have any balance with those things. Now, if you train because you take you, you care about yourself, you go to the, when you go to the gym or you're about to work out at home and you ask yourself, "All right, how can I take care of myself right now?" Like that's going to direct you in the right direction. It's going to create some balance. I can pretty much guarantee that when I have this new baby that comes, my sleep is going to be 
off. I know I have two kids. I know what it's like to go through that. No, I'm not going to get good sleep. I know I'm not going to walk into my garage and think to myself, today I'm going to hit a PR on my yeah. deadlift. I'm going to go in the garage and be like, okay, I need to to keep my body moving, keep it healthy so that I can maintain my sanity so I can be there for my my wife and for my infant and for my kids. So that's the that's the approach I'm going to have uh, when I exercise. That's how you develop that balance in your life. And what you'll end up finding is that that swing isn't that big. You know, Adam used the numbers 9 and 15. I mean, that's kind of where I live in between those. Sometimes my body fat goes up a little higher. And why is it going up higher? Because, uh, because of balance. There's other things in my life that are more important for my overall health than being at, you know, 9% body fat. Sometimes it goes in the opposite direction. Sometimes think life is working out a certain way to where I can really focus on getting super shredded and I get some value out of that. But you got to have that attitude if you plan on, you know, being your best self for maintaining good health for the rest of your life. It has to be that way. Everything changes at some point. If you're lucky, you get old. At some point, you're going to run into all kinds of different obstacles. And if you don't understand this, you will fail at some point. some point, your life is going to get so different that you're going to say to yourself, screw it, I can't keep keep up this workout. Screw this diet. I can't do it. I'm too stressed out or you know, it, it doesn't work for me right now. My work is too, too hard. And that's when you have those wild pendulum swings. So balance is important and, and don't – and always think of context. Your healthiest self – involves a lot more than just uh, how shredded and muscular and strong you are.